All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Studio Tau Army so far. We've got uh, two devil fish here. I variated these from the heavies by not giving them the ivory nose cone, but rather doing this little thing up here to, uh, to sort of break up the green. I'm definitely very pleased with the army so far. I think it's going to look good all together when it's in bright light. It, uh, the green definitely uh, comes out. Uh, what I've got over here are um, two pairs of crisis suits with twin linked missile pods. That is a really wonderful combo. It's all magnetized on there. And uh, I've got uh, my temporary leader guy here and uh, a bodyguard. Uh, th those are, again, they'll both be bodyguard when I get the Forge World guys going. Over here we have stealth suits. Uh, I really agonized over these, but finally I ended up changing their uh, giant head uh, pieces to uh, this sort of uh, charcoal gray color, which definitely gives them that military feel and sort of breaks up the green and sets them apart from the rest of the army, with of course the obligatory Tau barcodes, which I'm very fond of, and I'm very good at painting them by hand, like this one here, and um, the units that go in these devil fish will have corresponding markings. Uh, the idea being that they see their squad mark on the hatch and they know which uh, transport is there. Not unlike banners in a medieval army. Now on this Sky Ray, and uh, just as a preliminary note, uh, people have told me the Sky Ray isn't that good, but I don't care. It looks really, really, really cool. Um, I got this piece off of the uh, command sprue that came out with Apocalypse, and I, I really worked it down to uh, where it would be one smooth additional part there. Now, uh, one interesting note is that um, uh, these aren't red highlights on here, like on the missile pods and the canisters for these uh, plasma rifles. Uh, it's actually cavalry brown, which is sort of a reddish brown. Uh, highlighted with hot orange, so it doesn't uh, quite give that Christmas effect that you get when you use a, a true green and a, a true red. And so I'm definitely pleased with how that turned out. Um, the uh, lenses are foul green highlighted with white, uh, which again, uh, I tried something a little different with that by putting the white dot uh, right in the middle. And uh, generally very pleased, very uh, uh, ha I had a lot of fun painting uh, this stuff, and uh, just in case the sky ray bites, I'm going to uh, I painted up this extra hammerhead turret there. So really nice.